All right, welcome to the first episode of AC Chat, which is going to be the breakdown and kind of a, a long talk for you guys about certain types of uh, certain types of topics. You know, I know I wanted to do a podcast and whatnot, but it's not going to work out that way. It doesn't look like anyways that it's going to follow exactly the format that I'm looking for. I'm also deciding to use a face rig instead of myself because I've got a lot of comments last time and also on my stream that you guys ignored the content that I was trying to bring to you and you guys just focused on what I look like or what I was wearing or whatever. So this just brings it to a neutral ground that it will allow me to get the message I want across. But today's discussion is going to be about what I see the most out of streamers who I have gotten bigger than myself or you know any of the big popular streamers that you'll see out there. Um, and I know a lot of the things I'm going to bring up are not going to be received well, they're not going to be liked. But at the end of the day, this is the perspective of someone who is, I want to say middle tier size, I'm not huge, but I'm not exactly just starting out. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt. This is from someone who's been streaming for four and a half years now and kind of trying to just put my opinion out there to see kind of what happens. So like I said, take everything with a grain of salt and don't get too butthurt about anything I say. But first off, first thing we're going to be starting off with is what I like to call airheadedness. And what I mean by that is these streamers will get help from their friends or uh, you know anybody close to them and they'll, they'll, they'll explode, they'll get big. You know, whatever, like something goes viral or you know, whatever happens is they just become huge. And a lot of times that will, you know, make them get a big ego. And most times out of 10, I will see there, and I've had this happen to myself, is a friend of mine will get huge, and then they'll just, they'll just act differently. And I get, you know, you're popular now, there's a lot more people to talk to, there's a lot more things to do. But this brings me up to my second point of a lot of mistakes that I see streamers do, and I just, I hate to see it, because it breaks my heart whenever I see it. And whenever I see something like this happen, I am so tempted to call them out on this, but I know that that's not something I should do, and it's not something that I want, I would want myself to have done to me, but the biggest thing is, so bring the, oh, there we go. they become dependent on the other people that are as big as them, is they forget about how the smaller streamers and everyone else who is the same size as them help them achieve their goal of getting bigger. And it cracks me up every time to see these other YouTube channels and stuff promote this kind of behavior. Oh, don't raid smaller streamers. It's not beneficial for you. It's not going to help you grow. So at the end of the day, you're, what, what you're saying is, is you're going to turn around, okay, cool, I got big, I'm cool now. You know, screw all the other people that I helped, you know, that I was growing with. You know, maybe they didn't get as big as me. Is that what you, is that what you're saying? Is you know, oh, screw all the people that I I grew with. Because to me, that just that doesn't sit right. That's not that's not a good, that's not a good position at all, in my opinion. On how everything works. because uh, plain and simple, like. No one just blew up overnight. A lot of people, from what I knew, put a lot of work into you get up, get to the level that they are at. And it hurts to see the people that are blown up and that got, you know, 50, 60, 100, 200 people in their chat now. And then an old friend comes along and they just act like they don't even know that person anymore. But if you look back at any of that other smaller streamers thing, 
They made content with this person. They sat there and did things with this person. Only to just get tossed on the wayside because someone cooler or fun came along. And it's just, it, it's annoying. It's annoying to see. And that's, that brings me to my final point of this. Don't forget who helped you. And, and, and I know a lot of people are going to sit there and go, well, no one helped me get big. Uh, that's, that's, that's false. You know, there's a lot of people that you either networked with or you, uh, you know, you sat there and you played with, you did collabs with, you did, you know, some kind of something with someone else. Now, granted, I will exclude any solo channels that have really, really sat there and grinded. Because there are people out there that are just like, I don't want to collab with anybody. I don't want to do anything else. I just want to do my thing. Which I can respect. But that being said, don't forget who helped you grow. I hate, to, I see it every time I turn around, I look at any other big YouTuber and they give the same advice of just stream and raid people that are your same size. Me? I don't do that. And I do that for one reason, is because I give back to those who have helped me get to where I am. Yes, most of the time at streaming, sometimes I can have up to 10 to 15 people in a stream. I know that's not as big as some of the big people, but I still pass it on to somebody that's got like two or three. Because if I look to anybody else that has roughly the same amount that I'm streaming for, they have the time they don't even notice. They don't care because they have their own numbers. And if anything, I love walking into another stream, somebody I may not even know, and just making their night because I'm dropping my people off to them. And that just, that for me, just makes me a lot happier to watch someone who's sitting there gaming for like maybe one to two people to just make their night because I've brought in eight, nine, ten however many people in now into their chat and I and I understand the argument can be made that the the, the helping rate of you rating someone the same size as you helps you get recognized and I, I completely agree with that I could completely follow that but at the same time I can raid four five six times to small streamers and I've watched they have returned to my stream more often they have spread word about me a lot more efficiently and at the end of the day they're a lot more grateful because I've also streamed and graded people that are bigger than me or the same size as me and yeah uh, I'll occasionally get like you know a message from them or you know, they'll come hang out and stream one time or something, but not nearly as much as I see people who are smaller. Because the biggest thing with people that are smaller is they're looking to you to learn. How did they get so big? How are they doing better than me? What am I missing? The same size person's not going to give that to you. It's not going to give you that same level. That's the biggest thing is it won't give you the same level of, you know, just interaction. It's just, oh, look, another person same size as me, cool. Same kind of deal. Like, to me, that's just boring. And it, it, do I like being rated by people bigger than me? Yeah, anybody does. But I don't expect it. I'm not begging for it. I'm not asking for it. And the biggest thing is I see tons and tons of people out here on YouTube, on Twitch, just begging for people to just raid them and have these big people just shower them in for success. And that's not gonna happen. Plain and simple, it's just not gonna happen. So, the biggest thing that I will leave this whole chat with is if you are planning on streaming, that's cool. Just, if you're gonna plan to play with friends and stuff and you do decide to get bigger or you take this seriously and you get larger than you expected, pay it forward to someone that's smaller than you. Like, even if it's one raid out of a week, just go and make someone's night. Because I am tired of seeing 
people promote this characteristic of, oh, I can only rape people the same size as me, because it's only beneficial to me. At the end of the day, you were just as small as everyone else. You were a little fish in a big pond, just like everyone else. Just because you've got big boy pants now, doesn't mean that you now can just walk away and forget everything that you've done. So, uh, this has been the first episode of Icy Cat. I know I said this was going to be a podcast, but I decided to scrap that. So I hope this kind of format works out, and I will be tweaking it ever so often. And again, I'll be using the face rate more just because it gives a neutral ground, so there isn't so much comments about my actual appearance, and it also makes it a lot easier for me to focus and make content for you guys, so I don't have to sit here and focus on getting myself around for it. But that being said, thanks for watching.